For those of you who've seen Planterum shows, uh, you, you're familiar with the star of our Planterum, which is the Zeiss uh, Mark IX Universarium star projector. And uh, uh, last uh, month, it, it got an upgrade. We had two engineers come out from Germany, from uh, Zeiss Jena. Right next to me is uh, Ralph in the black t-shirt. And then on the other side, on the far right, is Hagen. And uh, someone that uh, you might recognize uh, here, have you seen him um, doing back of house here, is uh, Matthew uh, Belando in now you the don't orange. you see him a lot because he is the guy who's making it all happen technically in the background. That's um, right. Matthew, we'd really like you to come Matthew. out. Yeah. There he is. Now, there's a special reason we wanted you out here tonight. Oh! <laughs> you knew we had to, right? I, th I think we have to sing to him. Yeah. So we're doing it fast. Okay, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matthew. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Okay, well, that's some, some yeah. space to consider right there. Right. Um, and I'm amazed that I love that our audience member carry, carry ocarinas with them and can play happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> drop it's the sort of audience we have here. <laughs> so, uh, so. Um, really, sincerely, I mean, we all love all of our staff here, and we have big thanks to all of our technical crew, but a big, big thank you to Matthew for all that he does for us. Um, so, what in the world were you doing keeping him up nights last week? Okay, and, and myself, too. Uh, so, uh, so, just going back to the upgrade, uh, what we really uh, did was we ma did a major upgrade on the illumination system of the uh, Zeiss uh, projector, and basically we... Um, we're basically, uh, we upgraded from our arc lamps, which used to light up the sun, the moon, and the plants, and you see them, see them on our ceiling, to LEDs. And uh, this is, you know, uh, LEDs have started to uh, come into the planetarium community and has been installed in uh, projectors such as these uh, around the world. So uh, in order to do this, uh, the, a crane had to be an employed and we basically had to separate the star ball in half, which is something that we've never done before. And we've always wondered, well, what's inside that Deaf Star <laughs> looking, you know, star ball? It's full of wires and connectors. We had to separate, care carefully separate uh, several dozen uh, wires and connectors from power supplies and all that stuff. And then we removed the central core of each uh, light box, which uh, there's two for the uh, star ball, northern and southern hemisphere, and there's one for the planets. And inside these old light units are uh, arc lamps and so we have three of them and we, we used to change them every 500 hours and we got to be careful because they operate at uh, about 25,000 uh, volts of uh, voltage mm -hmm. and, it, and they generate a lot of, height, of heat. So uh, we uh, replace them with this and here's the new unit looking like the old unit but inside each of these units here are the here's LEDs, there's a whole set of them. And uh, this unit was uh, placed in, right in the center of the star ball. This is the north star ball here. And then the next slide, uh, we had to connect up the fiber optics, uh, which uh, each one leads to a star port, which uh, then projects a section of the sky onto the planetarium dome. And then, interesting uh, enough, these bit drive belts uh, activate motors that uh, cause the stars to twinkle. And so, it's, it's beautiful. So anyway, yeah, the cause scintillation. Um, next, each uh, planet projector used to be fed by uh, fiber optics from that cylinder. Uh, we removed those and, um, and placed this, which is one of the light units uh, beneath each planet uh, projector, and also the sun and moon. And you can see here it's in operation. The light just shoots straight up through all the optical paths, and then is projected out by a lens uh, at the top there. What does it look like? Well. We took a picture, this was, we were very excited, but it's actually more beautiful if you see it with your eyes. So this, this cell phone image doesn't do it justice. So I encourage you to, uh, if you want to take in a planned term show, uh, come to our center in the universe and uh, water is life. Uh, we're using the uh, Zeiss at the moment um, in those shows and uh, enjoy our beautiful, glorious, revamped planned term sky. Thank you, and thank you for those overnights. Nine days in a row of overnights, so he's pretty tired. But that's how he got those Orion pictures.